A scene of uncertainty today in the Darby Creek area as crews search for a 23 year old man missing in the water. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Angela Rigard in for Clay Gordon. Search and rescue crews were out on that creek all day. 10 TV's Richard Solomon was there. He has the new details for us tonight. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office says they still have not yet found that 23 year old man that was swept up underneath the current. And for several hours, multiple agencies have been searching for him. It is with the rain we got this week. Um, it is uh, the height of the water is up. The, the speed of the water is up. The current is up. It, at this point, it's pretty dangerous. A race against time. That's how Pleasant Township Fire Chief Brian Taylor describes the search for a 23 year old man that was caught up in the current at Big Darby Creek. Franklin County's dive team and the Ohio Department of Natural Resources sonar unit where some of the groups in the water Saturday afternoon that there was a pretty good pinpoint of where he went under at. But now, you know, time is with us. The current is with us. So now that, that makes it more difficult to find him. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office says three men waded into the creek and lost their footing. They say one man was able to catch his footing quickly. The other two were swept under. One other man made it out okay. The longer the person's in the water, obviously, um, the, the less likelihood it is to be an effective rescue. And, and Joyce Murray rides her bike on this trail often. She says the current of the water is very unpredictable. You can't tell how deep it is because it'll just suck you down in the murk. Mm -hmm. And they don't know that. I've been seeing swimming in that area almost every day lately. Now the Franklin County Sheriff's Office says they will be back out here in the morning to continue the search. And this is the second incident to happen this week at this location. For now, reporting in Franklin County, I'm 10 TV's Richard Solomon. Back to you. Richard, thank you. And this story is just a reminder of why you need to be safe out there on the water. We have some tips for you right now. You want to keep that life jacket on and don't canoe or kayak alone. The more people you've got to go out with, the better chance you'll have of getting help when you need it.